Hey guys, what's up? So, um, this is a little bit of a different kind of art book. Um, this is the art of um, Jim Balin, and it's called Magic in Black and White. And this is a really, really cool book. It only actually, it is black and white. It, it's only, the only color picture is in the front and the back. And this is interesting. This is a little bit hard to get, uh, but it's a really kind of cool, it's sort of pinup and it's sort of a fantasy. I think it's like a fantasy pinup and then he puts a lot of really cool effects in it. Um, like this is like an archer girl, which is really cool. And all of these are kind of like inked. They're all kind of black and white. They're not the really, really polished um, art books that you can get. But um, they're really good. I mean, his drawings are really cool. And um, they're really kind of inspired by like the kind of things that he likes, like the genre that he likes. It's just like pretty awesome. And um, it's actually really well drawn and it's very very simple it's not a big deal uh, as you can see but they're really original I mean they're not like it's definitely not something you've seen like too much of before and this is pretty cool it's a pretty thin book you know but it's not expensive it's, it, it costs how much you know it has how much content it has and it's all sort of yeah all of these like symbols, these occult symbols are in there, um, a lot of these like magic, then there's spikes, and all fucking spiky kind of like clothing, um, you know, and you can see like some of it he really goes in there and makes it like really really dark and light, and in other parts he just leaves it kind of vague, he just leaves it kind of like not too much of a line work on it but as you can see like part of it is really dark and light and a lot of contrast and another part is just kind of faded and not really too much in it with it and he, he does it really well you're not really supposed to do it this way <laughs> you know you're not supposed to just have part of your painting being like all contrast and leave the other part like that but he does do it that way and I think gets away with it like he's really you know, he, he does it really well, but not all of them. I mean, there's some of them that are just like all kind of contrasty and stuff. And there's some of them that are like that. And he just like, he just draws in a bunch of these symbols and stuff. But the girls that he draws in these are really hot. And it seems to be like the same model on all of these pictures. So that's really cool. But it, it's cool. It's got, you know... She's got a sword, and she's got, like, occult symbols, and it's pretty cool. And then there's, like, this one. And what I like about this book is it, was, it wasn't, like, a big deal kind of book, but it was something where I knew that, like, this book that I found, like, I'm not going to be able to get that anywhere else. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a rare, rare art book that not a lot of it was made, but... It's, it's nice. I just, you know, and this, this is cool. You could pretty much probably draw this a lot faster. It's not going to take you days to paint, like, one of these. Uh, but it might take you, like, a few hours to draw one of these. And it's definitely worth drawing these because you can, it really does uh, help you with um, figure drawing. And then also... Um, it's just kind of like, it has a gesture to it, and it, it's also like, it kind of like telegraphs sort of a point, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, this guy's into a cult, <laughs> and he's into swords and like women with horns and shit. It's really cool. You could tell that all of this whole body of work is very inspired. And it's, it's inspired by, like, the stuff that he likes, which is really great because it's great when someone just draws what they like. Because when you draw what you like, you can draw, like, 25, 100 of the same thing. And with, with kind of, like, with, like, sort of, like, variations of it. You can draw a lot of the same thing and still, like, have each one look original. Um... You could tell 
that this is weird. Like, okay, so now he changes it up to like a different model, sort of. And this one is like half skeleton, half girl. <laughs> you know, like, she's like half skeleton, half girl with guitars and shit, which is cool. And then they go back to like some of the other ones. And he does exaggerate like the pinup art kind of thing where like, I mean, he like exaggerates boobs and stuff and uh, whatever, but it, it's cool. It looks really good. I mean, he does it really well. He does it well. And you can see like here's one with like tarot cards. Pretty cool. And uh, she just has a bunch of spears through her. Like, okay. <laughs> um, fantastic. And then, you know what? A lot of these, like, you'll flip through these books, these art books, and you'll like, okay, this one's good. This one, I'm gonna flip through this one, flip through this one. Oh, this one's good. I'm kind of, I mean, I'm, these are like all really good. I mean, they're not, like, they haven't, I mean, they're not that complicated. They're not complex. I could tell like it didn't take him weeks and weeks to paint these. Uh, he probably drew them in a few hours or maybe like several hours, you know, but um, it is definitely like, I'm liking every page of this. I, I think every page of this is really good. Um, damn, look at some of this. It is so cool. If you can find this book, definitely like check it out or pick it up because it is really unusual. You do not see this art all the time. You don't see, you don't see it. Like, it's really nice. It's definitely not mainstream, which is great because mainstream is like, I did that name. Mainstream is like, come on. If it's mainstream, it's overdone. You know what I mean? If it's mainstream, it's it's overdone. It's it's already overdone if it's mainstream. It's it's unless it's really 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 good. It's either really good or overdone or who knows what. But it, this is just none of that. This is really good. Check it out. She's like leopard print, but she's like lipstick um, lips print. Is that awesome? She's like more lipstick, lip print. Isn't that awesome? Free. Fucking hell. This one's done a little bit better. This one's like Godzilla Girl, which is cool. And uh, this one's like Demon with Wings Girl. Which is cool. This guy should do like album covers for like bands. You know, he, this guy should just, this guy should just keep doing. Jim Balin, man, keep doing these. These are great. <laughs> that one. And uh, this one's upside down, so I'll just like. That's weird. They they put it upside down. That's I don't even know why. Unless oh, it's this way. Okay. <laughs> okay. And. Um, Far out, you know, like, oh, wow. <laughs> I've had this book for a while. I, I bought this a few years back, and I really, I dug it, but now I'm looking through it again, I'm like, man, this is great. These drawings are so good. They're all black and white. I mean, these are good. If you want to, you know, you should definitely make more color ones, but the black and white ones are great. I mean, you, yeah, you might not have, like, as much of, like, a fully colorful rendered thing, but you can make more of these if they're, if they're, like, more simpler. You can draw them faster and then just make more of them. Let me see. This is from a tarot card. It's a symbol, it's a symbol on a tarot card, and you made it, like, a pin-up tarot card. Pin-up tarot deck, that would be awesome, right? Pin-up tarot deck. You know, but I don't know what kind of fortune that would actually tell because it's all pin up and stuff. I don't know, like, but it's probably can't be that bad. 